Why hello there, I am Cordell Prime and say to review on the Family Guy box set of the Griffin Family. Now, back when the series first started, there was a toy line for it. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well of course Cordell Prime, every series has at least a couple figures for it, but not this one. This one had boatloads, and I mean boatloads of figures. And they ranged from well-known characters like the Griffins, Cleveland, Joe, Quagmire, Two obscure characters that we don't see too often, like Seamus, Herbert, guys like that. He also had variants, like I remember seeing one for Peter in his secret agent astronaut millionaire outfit, as well as one for Quagmire wearing his robe. So you had a lot of figures. And of course you had the box set for the Griffins. You could also get single carded figures. I don't know if you could have gotten a Lois, Chris, or Meg. You should have, but I'm not sure. But I know you could have gotten a Peter, Brian, and Stewie figure all on their own. So, it's pretty cool. So to start off with the set, we're looking at Peter. Peter's head sculpt is really funny. He's got this, like, dopey smile that really makes me laugh. He does have his very, um, provocative chin. His, the collar of his shirt is molded, as well as the buttons for his shirt. Little rolled up parts for his sleeve are molded. His belt buckle, his belt actually, is molded and painted, as well as little ripples in his shirt. And his shoes are done. You can see that. So, yeah, pretty nicely detailed. For articulation, the head can rotate all the way around. Arms can rotate all the way around, like that. And the waist can rotate. So, not that much articulation, but a fair amount. And try to fix my light here. Accessory-wise, he comes with what's supposed to be a can of beer. It's supposed to have the label on it, but mine sadly came off, so not much to it. He can hold it in his hand. So there you go. He also comes with a bottle of beer. This one, of course, has a label of Pawtucket Patriot Ale with the photo of the guy on it. This one I actually taped on because this one started coming off. Of course, you have the, um, the cat painted. This one, he can also hold in his hand. So yeah, he can of course have a drink. <laughs> he also comes with his weakest accessory, which is a TV remote. It is well detailed, I mean you got little buttons and that on it. But this one, he can't really hold in his hand very well. You gotta try to wedge it in there, but even then, it doesn't seem to hold very well. So, yeah. That's his weakest accessory, but... Yeah. So, there you go. Peter. Next is Lois. Lois's head sculpt is actually nicely done. Of course, I have her orange hair, her blue earrings, her eyelashes are painted, as well as some... Um, she also has lipstick on. So, yeah. We also have the collar of her shirt in, as well as the buttons for hers. Rolled up sleeves again. And her shoes are done. So, she's decently detailed as well. For articulation, the head rotates all the way around, so do the arms, and, uh, oh, you also have a joint right here. So, yeah. Accessory-wise, Lois comes with nothing at all. Yes, Lois comes with nothing, and that really stinks. I mean, I really wish she could have came with something, because it's, I don't know, I, they, they could have been a bit creative and given her something. I don't know, but she's still a nice figure, so... Lois. Next is Chris. In terms of Chris's head sculpt, it's, uh, you do of course have his blonde hair with the ears. His hat is painted. His eyes and nose are done. His mouth is open, which I don't know if you can see that, but, uh, you actually have the tongue painted in there, as well as his provocative chin. It's not a very good expression, but yeah. His hands are molded, which I'll get into that in a bit. And he has his shoes done in white color, black uh, black uh, details there, as well as a uh, red stripe on them, red striping. So, yeah. For articulation, his head can rotate all the way around, except it's really stiff. Arms can rotate all the way around, and so can the waist. His accessories include a Walkman. The Walkman's molded, of course, with the buttons and everything, and the earphones. You got the little peg on the back, little hole there, which you can peg on in. Where are you pegging in? There we go. 
And uh, for the um, headphones, they've actually got little parts of them hollowed out so they can fit over his ears easier. So yeah, and his hands are permanently molded in this like rock on pose, so yeah, rock and roll! Yeah, that kind of thing, so yeah, I'm doing that. So Chris, next we come to Meg. Meg's face sculpt is actually very appropriate. I mean, on the show, Meg's the character that everyone makes fun of and has no time for. So it makes sense that her face looks like she's crying or something. Of course, I have her glasses, which you can move, but uh, they don't really come out, and I wouldn't suggest trying to get them out. Got her lips painted, her eyes done, her hat, all that. Got the little white details around her shirt, and her shoes are done. Articulation. Her head rotates all the way around, so do her arms. And uh, her waist rotates, which is very stiff. Her accessories include nothing. Yes, she doesn't have any accessories either, which really stinks. I mean, they could have given her at least a journal or something. I mean, that's what she's like on the show, so you could have given her a diary or... I don't know, could have done something. I mean, that just makes her sad. See, she's crying. <laughs> so there you go, Meg. Next is Brian. Brian's a figure that doesn't have much detailing. He got his tail molded, as well as his ears. His eyes are painted, so is his nose. There's no real detail in his mouth, it's just supposed to be his teeth. His collar's done, and that's about it. For articulation, his head can rotate all the way around, so can his arms. And that's it. His accessories include a rolled up newspaper, right here, which, uh, you don't, I don't really know what you can do with this one. I mean, you kind of try to wedge it under his arm, but where his arm's so close to his body, it really... Well, there you go. He got it. So he's got his newspaper. He also comes with an orange cup filled with coffee. Yes, they actually painted the coffee in there, which I think is a really nice detail. You can, of course, stick that into his hand. And his newspaper fell out of his hand. And, ah, it's kind of why would you, you try like this? There we go. Slide it in from the bottom, and now he's got his cup of coffee and his paper. He just woke up. He's got his morning paper and coffee. He's gonna go read that. So there you go, Brian. And last, we come to Stewie. Now this set was released in the earlier. It's back when Stewie was a very maniacal baby. So you do, of course, have the very evil genius look on his face with his eyes. All his little individual hairs are painted, as well as the signature football head. He have the um, overall buttons, his shoes, got all that. Articulation, his head rotates all the way around. His arms could, but his head hinders that. And that is it for Stewie. His, his accessories include a little baby blue bib, i saying that five times fast, with a bear painted on it. It's kind of cool. You can peg it on around his clip it on really around his neck. My only problem with my only problem with this is it kind of scares me once in a while. It makes me feel like I'm going to break it cuz um it's a hard it seems like a hard plastic, so I'm afraid that if I slide it on or or off too much, it's going to break. He also comes with a ray gun. Yes, he comes with a ray gun. It's blue with the, the handle, got little buttons molded and painted orange tip, these details here. It does slide into his hand, but it's kind of hard to get it in there since his hands and arms are so small and once you get it once you get it in there it just doesn't look all that right. But yeah it makes sense for him to come with a ray gun. So now he can go and try to take over the world like he always had dreams for in the series. So yeah. And that is it for Stewie, and that is it for this set. To be completely honest, I do recommend this set. Yes, they do lack in a bit of articulation, and some figures, i.e. Lois and Meg, don't come with accessories. It's still a nice set nonetheless. It's great for display, and it's great for all you hardcore Family Guy fans. Now, you can't get this set in stores. I got this for Christmas of 2008, and these have a patent of actually a copyright date of 2004 on them so you're not going to find them in stores now but if you can find them for a decent price on ebay pick them up they're good figures so hope you enjoy this review see you next time everybody